I'm always pretty conscious of like what I'm doing to women. I don't want to put them in a vulnerable situation. I can't stand mini skirts. I think mini skirts are. Uh, anyway, well, don't get me started on mini skirts. It's very architectural, I would say. It's very graphic. It's very modern. Very, very sculptural. They're kind of goddesses. A little bit of a sort of an Art Deco goddess. Just them looking fabulous and a little bit strange, maybe. Rick Owens called this wall of light his gateway to heaven. It's also like the biggest bug zapper in the world. It's a remarkable introduction to one of his best shows. You talked about the electrocution of the masses. I mean, it's such an insanely graphic image. When you see the people going through this, it really is like they're being zapped. And, you know, someone going up in flames, that's what you think of when you think of a martyr, somebody going up in flames. They're angels. I mean, when they came out, it's like, we're in heaven. Purity, simplicity is elegance, right? To, like, pare it down to just the perfect volume. The sleeves, the sleeves are like... <gasps> it does kind of take your breath away a little bit, and a great collection takes you away from where you are. You don't think you're in the middle of Paris, you know, and just for a few minutes, it's something really, really special, and he did that today. My favorite thing was the kind of like leather tubes that had the metallic applique on them and then the forward-facing armholes that were kind of controlling the body. Very pretty, but sort of sci-fi prisoners. There's a volume around the shoulders, and I know that it's going to be referred to as couture. Couture came from the idea of presentation in a stately way and stately elegance is about the opposite of sex. He's referencing something a lot older and deeper. He's sort of trying to really grab at the essence of couture and extract that and apply it with his own signatures. It's the monochromatic, it's the volumes at the back that you know, jut out unexpectedly. The clothes, obviously they follow a certain shape. I'm not making big sacks. They are flattering, so they're not completely rejecting sex, but they're just kind of ignoring it in a very cool way, I hope. He is really comfortable with what he does, and he just does his thing without being too concerned with outside forces.